Welcome to a Smithfield Foods Wean to Finish Farm. This is where weaned piglets, or pigs at about 24 days old that no longer need their mother's milk, live in groups until they reach market weight. For the safety of our animals, all employees and visitors follow strict biosecurity procedures which prevent the spread of disease. These biosecurity measures include controlled entry to the farm, a shower-in process, and a change into clean farm clothing and boots before coming in contact with our animals. These biosecurity measures are part of our industry-leading animal care management system. We created this system more than a decade ago with two of the world's foremost experts in animal behavior and handling to keep our animals safe, comfortable, and healthy. These practices are reflected in our animal care policy, which underscores our commitment to the respectful and humane treatment of animals and addresses shelter, food and water, health care, euthanasia, and auditing procedures. The safe transportation of our animals is another important part of our program. All drivers who transport animals must be trained and certified under the National Pork Board's Transport Quality Assurance Program which provides education and guidelines on all aspects of hog handling and transportation. Our wean to finish farms eliminate the need for a separate nursery farm. This allows our pigs to live on only two farms during their lives instead of three, which removes one truck trip and the added stress that goes along with the loading, transport, and unloading processes. An additional benefit to the two-farm production model is the reduction in transportation miles and fuel use, which conserves resources. In preparation for new piglets to arrive, barns have been cleaned from top to bottom, including high-pressure washing, sanitization, and disinfection. Now the piglets are organized into group pens where they have 24-7 access to food and water. Within the first couple of days, the piglets scuffle with each other until a pecking order is established in each pen. These are not serious fights and only last for a few days. Another benefit of the wean to finish farm model is that our pigs go through this pecking order process only once. Our experience has shown us that wean to finish production requires less corn and other grains to feed and grow our animals to market weight, which reduces our carbon footprint. We were the first in our industry to announce a greenhouse gas emission reduction goal of 25% by 2025 throughout our entire supply chain. Using less feed requires less fertilizer to grow the grain, less grain to make the feed, and less fuel to plant, harvest, and transport the grain to our feed mills. From housing to feed and medical care, our team of animal scientists and veterinarians are always looking for ways to improve the welfare of our animals. In fact, all our facilities are specifically designed to provide a comfortable environment for our hogs, including adequate space for movement and exercise as piglets grow to market weight. For maximum comfort, our barns are equipped with heaters and environmental controls which allow us to adjust temperature and ventilation settings to meet the needs of our pigs as they mature. Our standard operating procedures require that our employees examine every pig, every pen, every day. This ensures that our animals have plenty of feed, fresh, clean water, and that our environmental controls are functioning properly. Our goal is to keep our animals safe, comfortable, and healthy throughout their entire lives. Slatted floors and routine flushing keep the pens clean. After the hog manure falls through the slatted floors, it is flushed into a lagoon. A lagoon is a basin that has been designed and certified by qualified professionals to treat and store the manure. At some of our hog farms, we're converting manure into energy. Pioneering renewable energy technologies is another way we're reducing our carbon footprint. We are committed to being the industry leader in animal care practices to assure respectful and humane treatment of animals, to produce wholesome food products, and to analyze our operations and practices, including internal and independent third-party audits, to ensure continual improvement. From how we manage our farms to how we treat our animals, it's all part of how we produce good food responsibly.